What is up, guys? Welcome back. Happy Friday. I know you guys are about as happy as it being Friday as I am. And, Joe, are you happy? Do you have great plans for the weekend? I am thrilled. Uh, me and my friend Art, with whom I'm working on the Pitfalls and Penguins book, are hoping to finalize the book and get it ready to send off to print so we can get it out in the mail to everybody by the end of October. All right. Well, awesome. It looks like Joe has plans, and I... I will find plans. <laughs> and uh, I feel the need to say, because I hope Joe doesn't mind a little advertising, but um, this server that we are on right now that is great, I hope Joe hasn't had any problems on his end, um, is sponsored to us by Bowl of Noodles Hosting. They're a great company. They've given this inser server to me entirely for free, and uh, I do appreciate it. I wanted to thank them, and I want everyone to know how great of a company they are and uh, all the help that they've you know given me with this server um, with snapshots and whatnot so anyway just some uh, shameless advertising for them I hope Joe didn't mind I didn't actually run that by through him I actually just remembered but anyway we are getting back to started so in about three seconds I will do the countdown again and we will get into the second 30 minute part are you ready Joe I am indeed all right, and let's start the countdown. Three, two, one, redstone. All right, I think I've muted my mic. I know Joe has muted his mic, so I think we're all good. We're on the second part here, and uh, we're working on building this final layer. Um, this part is probably going to be kind of boring for you guys, um, just because nobody wants to see me build a giant tower for the elevator. But uh, what can I say? Obviously, the boring parts have to be there. As with Redstone Wars, I try to keep the editing to the minimum, so uh, there's no chance for you know cheating anything like that. So anyway, uh, yeah, me and Joe were talking yesterday on the uh, kind of the middle intersection point, um, whatever you want to call it, the uh, intermission. I think is what I called it yesterday. But uh, yeah, it was it was pretty fun. Um, he's a great guy. He's great to talk to and uh, extremely <laughs> extremely entertaining um, you always wonder if people in their uh, minecraft videos or their LPs kinda like put something together so they know how to be entertaining and uh, anything like that and Joe is just actually extremely naturally entertaining that's just that's how he is and uh, it's actually been quite a joy to uh, indeed uh, do redstone wars with him and uh, be entertained by him so kind of rambling on here because I'm actually just kind of working on getting this mundane task out of the way but once we get this built which is just finished um, we are going to so basically we got this built and now we are going to have to wire up um, this would be the default lever le level, like I said last time. Um, don't use this because it will actually just teleport me right here. So actually we want to actually press this to get there. And then we want to wire a button. Um, that's not right. We want to wire a button to that back end over there. Um, this back end right here. So we're going to need that pink wool again. And yeah, there we go. So we're gonna need to wire some back into that, and so that way we can get down after we go up. But first, we have to put in these command blocks. So floor one, floor two, floor. Oh crap! I'm gonna have to hit floor seven. So we get all of those up. So it's just easier. So floor three, floor four, floor five, floor six, floor seven. Okay, cool. That's perfect. Um. Now I have to put in the command, and so basically I just need to get a couple positions. Um, let's see here. I need a pen and paper um, set up here. So first one, negative nine seventy three comma fifteen comma negative seven forty eight, and actually I have to make sure I round up on those. So that's seven. Okay. So this is going to be kind of boring, and I'm not going to be able to talk too much through it because I actually want to make sure I get these coordinates right. Um, so second one, so all of the X is going to be the same 
Oh, it's all going to be the same. The Y is just going to change. So Y is going to go up 2 every time? Ha! I didn't anticipate this. Alright. So, yep. So, what do we have? 15, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay. So the Y is just going to go up by 1 each, or 3 each time. So we can do TP at P for the nearest player. Um, negative... 974, 15, 15, negative 748. All right, we'll copy that, hit done. All right, whoops. Yep, that's right. All right, then we just gotta paste this in here, change this to 18, change this to 18, 21. Um, change this to, that was 21, so that's 24. Change this, 24, 27, change this to 30, and change this to 33. 30, and 33. Awesome. Perfect. Done. Okay, that was much easier than anticipated. So hopefully, given that I did this right, you step in here, you press this button. Whoa, freaky. And as you can see, we're at the very top, and if I go, and the return button isn't set up yet, but we'll get it. Um, so then we'll press this one right here, which should take us to floor, um, technically the floor 2 is floor 1, but 1, 2, 3, so technically floor 3, one, one, two, three. so that floor right there. So we get in here, maybe I'll set up some tripwire with an AND gate to actually make sure that you're in the elevator. So press it, boom, 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 floor 3 come out here on the pier and then you know get back down so what I want to do now is why is that glowstone maybe I started putting it in the wrong spot and changed my mind that could be okay all right boom boom okay perfect much better all right so this one doesn't need a return button this one needs a return button this one needs a return button that one needs a return button that one definitely needs a return return Okay, they all have return buttons. Um, all, and then we got to do this at the glowstone on each level, but the bottom. All right, cool. So now if we put dust here, I hope. Okay, so that should be connected to each button. Now the pain is to get this to go downward. And I could do something like this. Nope. Hmm. The true question is, how do you get this wire downward? Okay. So if I do something like this, place that there. Um, place that there. But if I place that there, that's not going to be able to invert that because that's being powered from there. We don't want that. Even if I do something like this, it still doesn't work because that's already inverted. So how do we get power down? Um, I know Cube Hamster a while back came up with the thing to get power to go downward vertically, um, but I don't think it works anymore. I could do something with a boat, technically. If we no, well, yeah, each dispenser could put out water, maybe. I haven't tested this, so this will be fun. No, I'd have to double pulse, which wouldn't be quite in easy. Maybe we just do something simple like this. We wire it directly up right here. So like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh! Crap. Hmm. See, this was not well thought through. Because... Actually, yeah, it was fine. I just mistook something. Because, basically, what I was worried about is it wasn't going to be able to pass through them all. But since it actually just passes beside them, we should be okay. As long as I actually do this instead of where it was. 
So let's see, what do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Oh, we're just going to go back one. One, two, three. Yep, that'll be fine. So now if I press this, it should teleport me downward by going boop, 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 boop. Okay, that'll work perfectly. Now I just have to get all this down. So we got that. That, that, that. Okay. Okay. So we're actually going to have to put a repeater here just to make sure, because this is already one, two, three, four, and then it goes. So I'm going to have to be careful. Um, only glowstone went downward. Um, boop. Alright, we got that. We'll put this here. Put that there. Like that. Hopefully this all works. We have 20 minutes left. Downward wiring, still two more. All right, as long as I can manage to connect all of these together somehow without powering anything, but so by at default everything's unpowered, I think think we'll be okay. If I put that there, that's obviously going to cut that. So we can put a repeater right there. Put a block right there. Underneath it, do something like that. And do that. So that should work there. Alright, then we have to get it down from this one. Like this. Like this. Nope. Maybe do this. Extend it one over, place that there, go downwards, just like that, place dust there, and that there, and that should, <laughs> that should work there. Oh, this is getting really messy, <clears throat> but it's working, so no complaints. Um, if we put this here, ooh, I should have done this the whole way down, it would have been much better. Maybe I'll change it up in a sec. If this ends up working, could you just go alternate over? Okay, we'll see. So, let's pick a floor randomly here, and we'll press this one. Just take us to a decent floor. Come step in here. Press this button. Should take us up. Okay, we're up at the correct floor. Let's say one, two, three, four, floor four. And if we want to go down, we stand here, press this button, and pray. Who? What? Alright, so with 18 minutes, basically the whole function of this works. So now the question is, do I want to tear this down? Yeah, I do. Because it's ugly and it's bothering me. Whoa! Oh, I did not just do that. Oh, okay. We need to unconnect that because I thought I just put myself in a loop. Um, which would have got me stuck where I was forever. And then I would have had to ask Joe if he would somehow find the kindness in his heart to come get me down. <laughs> and somehow, I think he would do it, and he'd be too happy to look at my creation. Which actually doesn't matter, because obviously within the next 17 minutes and 40, 38 seconds, he could not possibly come up with another creation um, to try to replicate mine, but still, it's not the point. Okay, pretty wiring. Now during the halftime, I uh, hope you guys watched it, um, Joe mentioned that his creation involved fire. And that's somewhat terrifying considering that this... Hey, I know you said I could bother you if I needed to bother you. Yes, what is up? Yeah, okay, so you know how there's a stone block, and there's also a, a silverfish block? Yeah. They are surprisingly similar in appearance. Yes, they are. <laughs> um, so, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, 
I wanted to express my displeasure with myself with someone other than myself. Oh. Because I always express my pleasure, my displeasure with myself to myself. But I need to take advantage of this opportunity to share that. All right. Did you end up um, just using the silverfish blocks in the entire creation? No, just one particular part. But oh, okay. I can't tear it down now. <laughs> you have because... 16 minutes and 23 seconds left. Okay, great. <laughs> I'll see you so in a little bit then. Maybe you can tear it down in that time. <laughs> yeah, but I'll, no, but what I'm saying is in creative mode, if you punch it with the creative mode powers, they still make silverfish. Oh. And then those silverfish will then interact with all the other cobble or stone that's around. I did oh, I get what you're saying now. I feel feel a little slow, but I'm gonna blame that on the nighttime. But uh, oh. no, no problem. Okay, <laughs> well, I'll see you in a little bit. All right, peace out. Peace. All right. Well, luckily, I haven't had anything that catastrophic happen. But it's never too late. I had no idea they actually escaped, even in creative mode. Fix your game, dinner bone. Fix your game. All right. It's okay. All right. So that lamp will actually come on when you're actually in the elevator, and then... Hopefully you can reach the button. Yeah, you can press the button. So we'll have to hook up an AND gate here. Um, I think the output will come from right there. Um, let's see, we'll just use iron. And we do this. And we have to hook these together somehow. So we break that in a compact space. That's powered. This also. Okay, let's see, this might get somewhat tricky, but we'll get it. Um, let's see, like that. This gets a torch up here, shouldn't be, and this should get a torch right there. And then break that just for a second, and place that. That should be inverted, and if I press it, place that there. Okay, we should be good. So basically, if I press this button, absolutely nothing should happen, which it doesn't. And if I step on this trip wire, absolutely nothing should happen. And it doesn't. Now, if we select our level, which we'll just go to level two, and we step on the trip wire and actually press the button, it actually warps us up one. So we're good. And then we can press this button and it should warp us down. Yep. Down we go. So it seems like there's an extra warp in there, but it actually teleports you to the current floor that you're at. So you actually get teleported to your same spot, um, which actually may not be bad because I could go here and then like walk out on my balcony and press the balcony. Um, I'm not going to hook up on hook up one of these on each level. That would get obnoxious. But anyway, okay, so we got that. We got 13 minutes, 37 seconds left, and we have a fully functional creation that is somewhat compact and extremely colorful. All right, so now I'm going to grab a sign real quick. And we're going to label the floors. So, this do not use ever takes you to floor one. This is floor two. We're going to do floor two. All right, and we're going to type floor, copy that. Whoops, Joe's going to be wondering what's up with that. Oh, you can't paste. I swore at one time you could paste floor three. Floor four, floor five. Yep, there we go. Okay, cool, perfect. Floor six, and since it is that time, I feel the need that uh, once I actually make sure this works, floor seven in, t in its entirety, that uh, we tell Joe that we are pretty much done and working on the purtifying process, just to let him know. Man, tripwire is extremely invisible. All right, so basically it seems to all work. Floor two, floor three. Oh, let's label these. This is the I do not exist. Got floor two. Floor three, oh, not 3D, floor four, 
floor five, floor six, so they actually know where they are, and lastly, floor seven. All right. All right, so what do we have? We have 11 minutes and 29 seconds left. So what do we do with 11 minutes? Well, that's easy. We use TNT. All right, so we got TNT, we got redstone lamps, got this, we need a pressure plate. No, I'm not going to go redstone. TNT nuke Joe. All right, um, lava bucket. Now, obviously, well, we're gonna want to get back here at some point. Oh, I got coordinates on a keypad. All right, we're gonna teleport Doc Redstone to zero sixty four zero, and wait for the chunks to load for him. Come on, chunks. You can do it. Or not. Apparently they can't load. Okay. 74, 50, 748. Alright, that should... Oh my goodness! Oh, comma. No commas required. Okay. Alright. I thought that was close. Alright. So my little pretty compact device here. Whoa. Apparently Joe likes nighttime. And just keep coming. That wall should be much bigger than just in front of our creations. It's okay. Alright, just keep coming. He probably has far render distance too. So we'll come way out here. We've got ten minutes left. I feel the need to let him know. Just for the record, there are indeed 10 minutes left in this competition. 10 minutes. Wow, how the time flies. It does indeed. Okay. Does slash kill work in... Yes. I believe it does. <laughs> okay, oh no, sorry, I accidentally looked at your thing. I thought I used the set spawn command to do something. Oh. Don't worry, I didn't look at your thing enough to know what it is. And well, that's okay. In the next 10 minutes, I don't really think, even if you got a good glimpse of it, you would have enough time to entirely recreate it in your own image. Yeah, apparently whatever I did with the set spawn command was a complete waste, and I need to... Oh, good. Now I've exploded a million items everywhere. That looks professional. Oh, that's that's never positive. Okay. Yeah, so let's, uh, let me get back to SMP server commands. Uh, oh, it's spawn point is the command. Oh. So, I don't know if you were going to be changing spawn points, but... I was not, but that is good to know for future reference, because I always thought it was different. Okay, so let me uh, try that again. So that should have changed it, and uh, now I'll kill myself once more. Dang it! Okay, well... Try putting your name after it. I think... I don't think that's required, but I know that's one of the options. I put the at A. So it should set all players spawn points. I don't think it works that way, because earlier I wanted to set up a broadcasting system for this and use the at A command to do a dash tell command to everybody, and it didn't work. Oh, actually, apparently the at A wasn't in there. I thought it was. Oh. So well, that, that, that might... That might be what I had done poorly. It might so be let me trigger problem. that, which is also set up to change the time. So then I'll set it back to day for your benefit. And then I will kill myself once more. Okay, now I'm glitching somewhere. I might have set the wrong coordinates there. Oh my goodness, I have no idea where <laughs> I am. I'm going to have to spend 10 minutes teleporting back. No, I can just make a new one for I reset my... <laughs> Here, <I'm> uh, <laughs> the, the coordinates of my creation, just close your eyes as you're walking around them. You can teleport to negative uh, 974, uh, 15, negative 748. Negative 974. Wait, um... I'm typing it in the chat. 
15. What was the last uh, coordinate? Negative 748. Oh, I had positive on my Z instead of negative. So, okay, so so if I slash TP, Joe Hill says to that. I wish you could copy and paste in here. Yeah. So how's it going for you? Because this has gotten hilarious for me. I'm like, oh, I'm feeling pretty good about what I got so far. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, oh that, that literally puts me inside of your thing. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah, I was like, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let me implement this one other feature that I thought would be a cool thing to have, and uh, it's uh, it's gone poorly. <laughs> right, right with redstone, I've noticed is right when you think you have it, you're like, yeah, I got this. It's all good. That's when it just blows up in your face. Okay, the negative there is crucial, but it has been set. Um, so how are we on time? Also. Sorry, I'm wasting a lot of yours, I'm sure. No, I'm just, you know, I I was actually about to time in and just, you know, rub it in your face that I'm actually done and kind of messing around over here. Oh, awesome. So, and there is five minutes and 33 seconds left right now. Okay, so the thing that I spawned inside of, I designed to only be openable. Wait, sorry, you said five minutes and 30-something seconds? Yep, five minutes something, 30-something. Yes. So I designed the respawn point to only be openable by your friends. Or whatever, because this is a multiplayer area, so we'll have to go through it together. Um, however, um, I'm, I'm single player right now, so I got to bust out. But everything is silverfish. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna have to break down the door. Maybe increase, get your current X Y coordinate, and just teleport yourself. No, I, I got it. I'm, okay, I just busted through the door. <laughs> Is very unprofessional. Okay, so now okay, so I've got I've got three command blocks here. One that changes the time. One that sets your spawn. The third one that doesn't work is the give console command. Oh. And it's supposed to give everybody a sword, and that is you don't have a sword now, or does that only work in survival? It should work now. Mm -hmm. um, I think the give command actually is backwards from what you may think. It's actually the command, so give, then the item ID, and then the person's name. That's what I remember it. Oh, so it's it's reverse of the teleporter. Yeah. Or the spawn. I, th I still don't have a sword. A, and you're using the da or at a command? Yeah, give 1562 at a... Or no, it's, it's, it is. Uh, it looks like the add a goes first. Data value. Whoa! Whoa cancel. Hmm. Hey, let me do help. I think help page four has the give command. Nope. Page three. Sixty-two. Page two. Give player name, item ID, amount, and data. Hmm. Let me just try a different value because, like, maybe the diamond sword just doesn't want to work for some reason. That could be. Oh, okay, well, I just got one. Oh, I got something. I saw I, it. Yep. I think I got. Whoa, I got like a crown of thorns or something here. Yeah, some funky tripwire. Yeah, okay. That wasn't what I was going for. So, wait, maybe I'm using. I'm using the durability values on the wiki and not the data values oh <laughs> those numbers are different <laughs> who would have thought oh. oh yes i'm clearly going to be done in time okay see now i've got my diamond sword okay see yeah i think did i get one too yep i got a diamond sword too great so how much time do i have left you have uh, two minutes and 34 seconds okay so i'm just gonna quickly uh get everything in place and I should be uh, I should make it all right so um, I was gonna say we can keep the mics open at this point because ah! <laughs> I screwed something up I'm not gonna say what because that'll give it away but wow uh, <laughs> yeah that's a there's a classic Joe Hills moment for you <laughs> Oh, uh, it's so funny too because I was actually terrified when you did that. Ah, that my internet gave out because it did like the perfect, 
like white noise. Uh, oh, nice. So, oh my god. <laughs> what you do? Oh, I almost did something extremely detrimental. Like just break whatever you were working on. Yeah, like really break it. <laughs> Whoa, I should probably not re-change all of these. Okay, so the last command that I gotta do, and here is um, game mode. Okay, what's the difference? Okay, th this is uh, the sort of stupid thing I don't know the difference of. Okay, what is zero, one, and two? Zero is survival, one is creative, and two is adventure. Okay. Two, hat, done. Okay, so... You have a minute left. Okay, at this point, I'm just setting up my uh, reset switch. Um, so, uh, game mode. Uh, what would you say is creative? Zero? Zero is... Cr no, zero is survival. One is creative. Okay. Man, sometimes I think I need to set up a... Whoa, my game mode has been changed. Okay, cool. So, let me... Uh, Verify that this works. Whoops, now I'm survival. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, okay, so uh, you should now be uh, creative again. Yes, I'm all good now. Okay, so... You have 18 seconds. I am set. And I am entirely finished. I'm done too. All I right, just... five seconds, four seconds, three, two... One epic iPad sound. So it's probably not the most epic, but hey. Yeah, don't worry. I'm going to just have to edit that out for copyright <laughs> reasons anyway. Oh. It's just going gonna, gonna to be you saying three, two, one epic iPad sound. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> okay, right. so let, let's go see your thing first um, because mine might destroy the entire world that you have created can i just bore through here like yeah so many drills? yeah that's what i was i was planning on happening yeah you might want to just establish some sort of like tnt or something that i don't know blows or like do a sand wall like in in the walls that that could work and then just like at the end press a button and like the sand just falls down and destroys everybody's fps yeah, super dramatically. I mean, uh, the sand only has to be one layer thick, though. It doesn't have to be five or six layers like this. Is. Yeah, see, this is what happens when I try to be Vex. Mm -hmm. And this wall is supposed to, ex like, extend on for ad infinitum. It does not. No, it doesn't. I was, like, flying out, and because I wanted to see... I had so much free time on my hands, I wanted to see what happens if I teleported myself to zero sixteen zero, which is mm -hmm. basically zero zero zero, And it turns out chunks don't load. But, oh, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. So um, why don't you go ahead and explain to me what this is. Or actually, wait, 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 wait. Let me guess. Yes. Let's, let's do yes. that. All okay, right. Okay, so we'll have to guess what each of us is, is making here. All right. Okay, so you seem to have something with a counter. You have a lot of fences, so maybe this is where the damsels hang out and then the little Romeos are down here like yelling up at them or something. Um, or wondering if they dare speak. Uh, oh, <laughs> over here you got some buttons. Joe should touch this. Don't touch that one yet. <laughs> okay, and then not used ever, and then red. I was going to say, I don't use buttons in creative mode because I break stuff. I, I can never remember which um, mouse button to press. It's right click. I never <laughs> use creative mode, like ever. All right. So I just punch it. Well, so, I okay. will step a bit further away, and this is, despite your impeccable guessing, a uh, elevator using, uh, uh, I forgot what the theme is, command blocks. This is an elevator using command blocks. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, like, for the most part, I was like, okay, I can do an elevator. I can put, like, buttons, and they just press it, and it warps them to a point. And I'm like, that's boring. So this elevator will actually take you floor by floor. So you'll go floor, you know, zero, and then you'll hit floor two. If you, well, let's say you select floor seven, it'll actually take you floor zero through seven. Um, and then you'll actually, so you'll actually see each floor instead of just teleporting you to one location. So. Oh, so it's it's not just a teleporter. It's actually continuously popping you up higher and higher. Exactly. And so if you had different stuff that would be visible on each floor, like 
it seems like in this one you you pretty much um can only see wood out the window from yeah you know every I, floor i figured everybody should be allowed to enjoy the greatness that is that birch wood and mm -hmm. so i put the fences there so gotcha. i am going to let you pick a random floor but don't hit the button that says Joe should touch this. That's a bad okay. button right now. So hit any floor. I'm going to fly back because it picks the closest player. Okay, I'm going to hit floor four. All right, and so it selects it, and then you want to go stand on the trip wire, and then you want to press the red button. Oh, okay, so yeah, it just popped me up. It was pretty rapid, um, so I guess depending on how dramatic you want the view to be. Yeah, exactly. And then if you would that. like back down, you can hit that button that's right there next to you. And give it a sec. It's a bit slower. And there you go. And this floor does not exist. <laughs> you know, for some reason, I forgot that if I actually include floor one, this actually counts as a floor. So I would have mm -hmm. had to, like, added an additional floor. So anyway. But yeah, so this is what it does. And despite its simplicity... It was actually much more difficult because for it to go up and down actually took a bit of logic, but it worked. Oh, wow. So. Yeah, this is uh, definitely very impressive. Um, so I, I'm guessing these repeaters here in this, oh, it looks like cellular automata, but I know it's actually just, you know, basic logic circuits. Um, this is determining how long it waits before it does the next teleportation or whatever. Well, for the most part, this, um, I'll go ahead and explain it. And do you... Do you mind if I go ahead and explain it? Sometimes I like to get my let my ego get a bit better of me. <laughs> no, no, no. I want because I want to explain what I've been working on. Okay, awesome. And so no, I'm happy to let you take all the time you need. All right. Well, I'm gonna set the time to zero first. All right. Yeah, yeah. So we have the iron part first, which is just a simple RS NOR latch uh, array, and basically allows you to only pick one floor at a time. Um, mm -hmm. So as you can see, you know you picked floor four, and so it selected floor four. Mm -hmm. um, and then you come back to the gray part, and you got the gray wool, and that just re-inverts the signal. Um, mm -hmm. So that way it's correct. And then basically the repeaters and stuff are just to prevent the redstone wire from cross-talking. Um, mm -hmm. So that way they don't you know, communicate with each other and cause odd teleportations. Mm -hmm. And so then they come over here, and this green circuit right here is a decoder. And so actually if you watch it, you'll see um, right now you picked floor four. And obviously there's four torches lit up. And I'll mm -hmm. go ahead and go over here and pick floor seven. And you can see in the back now all seven torches are lit up. And that and determines whether or not it should teleport you again after it's teleported. Exactly. So, And then the orange circuit is just a way to convey that message. Um, mm -hmm. And the orange circuit goes into some pistons. And then the pistons, we have two circuits. We got the pink and we got the red. And the mm -hmm. red is up, the pink is down. And so basically if you um, go in there, and so basically, as you can see, all seven are selected. So if I send a signal down this red path, um, oh, I forgot some delay. That's why that seemed fast. Um, if it goes down this red path, it will actually only be able to power the command blocks that have pistons extended. So mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and select floor two. Or actually, we'll go floor three. And so as you can see, the pistons change. Now there's three up, and the power is going to go through this whole red circuit, and the only command blocks that are going to get power are the ones that have a block underneath of them. Oh. And so, and then the pink wool goes the opposite direction and just allows you to teleport back down. Makes a lot of sense once you explain it. Yeah, so despite its impressive look and size, it's actually quite simple. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So yeah, no, that's that's really cool. Um, definitely a lot more, I would say, redstoney than what I've been working on. Um, if you want to join me on the other side of this wonderful, magnificent birch wall here, um, here I'd go. be happy to show you. He's learning. He's learning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Now, now let me guess. Let me take this chance. It looks like here we got a runway. Is that no, no, no? It's a street. And yes, it's a street. You're getting warmer. Um, we got some buildings. It looks like a security system. That's what I'm going to well, go Well, hold on. With. Actually, the um, sorry, that was uh, unintentional rain, apparently. I want to showcase the fact that the rain turns on later. I don't. It doesn't help me if the rain is already going. All right. So let's okay. see what we got. So, um, well, let's go ahead and 
Uh, actually, we can just step over here. Uh, come, come on down inside of here. Okay. Actually, go in it. Yeah, just just hop down here. All right, hop down. Okay. So what we have is um a, a room with a pressure plate. Do you want to guess what this room is? I'm gonna say an a greenhouse because there's no roof. Okay. Well, this is actually going to be the spawn area here. Okay. So come on through here. Come on through. And you should have been given a sword. You might want to get that out. Okay. Oh, I have multiple swords. Now, have you played any other computer games besides Minecraft ever? Um, yeah, Skyrim, Call of Duty. Have you ever played any Left 4 Dead? Um, I think once, once upon a time. Okay, well, do you remember um, the zombies in Left 4 Dead are attracted to sounds? Okay. And so there are certain cars along the street that have car alarms. Oh, and so what I've got here, if you don't mind uh, going over there and tapping it. Bump into is... the minecart? Mm-hmm. All right. Oh, tell me that this works. Literally nothing. Oh, my goodness. I think I just lost this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is the worst thing ever. Oh, I heard something. There we go. Oh, my. Yeah, so then a horde of zombies appears. Oh, good. They're only interested in you. I'll just stand oh, over here. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> now, the other thing is, in Left 4 Dead, when you die, you'll respawn in closets that your friends then have to open. Oh! So I'm over. So my spawn has been advanced to this closet here, which I have to wait in for you to come open oh, the lever. No, get out of the way, zombies. I'm opening the lever here. Oh, oh, I'm a goner. And so if we... If we both um, die, then it's game over. Oh, get out! Oh, no! Does does Adventure Mode not let you open the lever? Or did you hit it twice? I hit it twice. Oh. Oh, I'm safe here. Somehow the zombies... Oh, I got put back into creative. Yeah, I don't... Oh, I think it's the zombies are stepping on the um, the uh, reset uh, plate that I had back there. Oh, gotcha. All right, come but on. But anyway, so yeah, the wave of zombies essentially would continue... Oh, wow. Yeah, see, they're, they're over here on my reset button. Um, but yeah, so essentially in the game, when you activate a car alarm, uh, there's a horde of zombies that'll attack. Okay. And so, uh, wow, this got crazy really fast. <laughs> um, it's okay, it's but, daytime, they're burning. But yeah, so this was essentially a proof of concept um, to recreate that. Okay. Uh, where now this is obviously a very loose uh, proof of concept, but I wanted to have it, you know, change your game mode, uh, make sure you were in adventure mode when you walk out the door, give you a sword, have the car alarm that would then spawn the zombies, you know, have the uh, respawn point. And this is all pretty simple stuff. Um, if I just bust this roof open up here, um, oh, yeah. it's easy to kind of see. I didn't realize how much. Um, exposing the redstone was going to be important for uh judging possibly because like all your stuff is just easily visible whereas mine is all concealed under the road um but anyway so uh under the car alarm here wow so many zombies um let me just open up some of this um so essentially underneath here i have a pulse uh generator that takes the input from the mine cart and then uh, starts running through here and see, uh, cycling the step away from the vehicle and the tones and whatnot, as well as uh, cycling these uh, zombie egg spawners. Oh, and, very nice. Uh, so it, it, it's a pretty simple um, concept in terms of the redstone. It's nowhere near as complex as what you made, but it's the sort of thing where somebody was thinking about making some sort of zombie adventure map. They could incorporate this into something else where, like, also in Left 4 Dead, like, it might be like, oh, no, we need to lower the drawbridge. Um, but the creaking of the drawbridge attracts the zombies. And so the, the lever that you press to, like, lower the drawbridge could trigger something similar to this. Although more balanced. Um, obviously, mine was not very balanced. <laughs> I like this, though. See, like, I think it all depends. It depends on what people like. Like, mine, sure, was it redstone -y? Yeah. Did it, was it cool? I wouldn't say yes. Like, yours wins the cool factor. And yours also wins the, the style points because you built with diamond blocks. So, I mean, come on. Well, what <laughs> I wanted to do was have a bunch of unmined diamond blocks so when people yelled Etho did it, you know, no one would be sure exactly what they were talking about. 
Oh, that's a good point. That's actually one of my favorite one of my favorite sentences right there. Etho did it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it doesn't work though when you get in trouble at work or something. If you say Etho did it, not the same effect it has in the Minecraft community. I say it's okay. I'm from Tennessee. Oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work. I work in Nashville. <laughs> oh, that's great. So awesome. yeah. So so that's um that's the extent of the redstone. The redstone or at least in that part, the redstone over here is pretty much the same basic thing where in order to open the door you have to step over that pressure plate and that sets the game mode, turns everything to not. I had it set though so you know, you turn it to not by stepping out the door, but then the storm starts coming down at the same time that the zombies start spawning with the car alarm and all that. Nice. So did this actually spawn point command work for you? Yeah, no, didn't you see? I actually, when I got killed by the zombies, I respawned inside of here. Oh, that's true. And I did die too, and I actually respawned in there. So, wow. Yeah. And so then, um, essentially what it would be, uh, or uh, what you'd probably have to do, because in Lift for Dead, there's a, it would just recognize it as a game over if we were both dead at the same time. We'd have to have a, a game over button, where if we both ended up in here, we'd press it and it would reset the level. Yeah. But you could do that. Yeah, you could. You could at like the beginning, you enter how many p people are playing, and then mm -hmm. every time somebody like falls in there, they like falls over some trip wire, and it and initiates a counter, and it'd be a bit <laughs> more elaborate. But yeah, yeah, it, it would take more than an hour. But it, this is just one of those things. Like I said, this was just a proof of concept. I'm never gonna make this game, but I'm sure somebody else could, and I'd love to play it when they do. Yeah, this is definitely a cool idea. So, all right. Well, I feel the need that you should come over here and press this button that I obviously know you should press. Okay. I'm also really glad that the thunderstorm didn't actually, um, you know, light the entire forest <laughs> on fire. So I was well, worried there'd be nothing left. I'm pretty sure that lightning doesn't actually, like the lightning fire isn't actually fire. Oh, I think it is, but I don't know. Okay, so is this the do not ever, ever use? No, it's, oh, uh, see, that would have been the smart thing to do. To make the red one the... But no, it's actually this one right here. Joe should touch this. Touch the oh, button, okay. Joe. Touch the button. Let's see. I seem to have been inside of a block for now. Oh, well, that's not any fun. Darn well, you. Wh where am I supposed to be? Well. Hold on. Um, oh, okay. So apparently that teleports me near a TNT trap. It actually should have teleported you into a TNT trap. It I teleported was... me beneath a TNT trap, in fact. Oh, come on now. What, See? What's wrong? <laughs> I was hoping that. Oh, it did. I should have increased the coordinates, not decreased them. Oh, well. Yeah. I was, so, I mean, I was I tempted to do it during the last, like, five minutes. Just like, hasta la vista, Joe. Wee. Oh, it actually. Sh oh, that's never positive. What isn't? Well, when your whole cannon blows up. Oh, that was a cannon? Yeah, did you see me go flying? Um, no. Oh, man. Now you have to watch my watch my recording no, I'll have to towards watch the your end. Side of it. <laughs> but yeah, no, you definitely don't want your cannons themselves to explode. That is indeed a bad sign. Yeah, I thought it'd be something funny that uh like towards the end when you were like finishing up like right when you were calling me, I was considering it where I just like press the button, you get teleported here and get launched straight up in the air and that would have been funny. It would have. And then I've been ruined. Yeah, so so no points for that part. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> I've got to say, I was really freaked out. I don't know why the uh, cart didn't work at first. Because, like, yeah. I had tested it, like, a thousand times. You might have noticed. Yeah, like, that was weird. Because, yeah, like, it worked the second time you pumped it. But the first time you pumped it, it had absolutely no effect. Yeah, uh, uh, who knows. Okay, so right. I guess at this point what we should probably do is say that you guys have seen, um, or if you guys have watched both of our videos, then you should vote. If you haven't, you should watch both of our sides of this. Yes, watch both perspectives. Obviously, there's going to be some annotations up in your right and your left, or maybe just your right and maybe just your left, depending on how Joe likes to do it. But there will be annotations to um, Joe's video if you're on my channel and if you're on Joe's channel there will be hopefully annotations to my video mm -hmm. and uh, you can both watch both of our creations um, it should be pretty fun it's only about an hour so you know two hours of video watching guys come on what else what more can you ask for and uh, so yeah watch both sides and there will be a, a video that should um, pop up sometime 
within now for me and the end of the video and it will have the links to vote for and mm -hmm. so you can pick whichever video, and uh, you can pick Joe's if you like Joe's best, mine if you like my best, and uh, you can go there, and clicking on the video counts as your vote, so please only click on one video. Um, yeah, we're not going to put anything fancy in the videos. Don't be like, ooh, I wonder which, blah, blah, blah. No. Yeah, like honestly, for mine, it will probably be a black screen or a happy face. You know, it's not going to be anything fun. It's just to go to for voting. So mm -hmm. pick your favorite creation. See if uh, you know if you like Joe's zombie invasion. Uh, I just lost the name of the game that you designed it after. But if you like that one, you know, vote for Joe. If you like my elevator, vote for me. I think I've beat this horse until it's dead. So do you have anything you'd like to say, Joe? Until next time, y'all. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. Peace. And also. Always thank your host, guys. If you forget to thank your host, you're just being a jerk. Now, what is it I'm forgetting? Oh, yeah, thank you, Doc Redstone. I had a ton of fun. This has been a blast. You're awesome. Well, thank you. I appreciate you being my first guinea pig on Redstone Wars. This is kind of like, you know, a test thing. So thank you for being a good sport, for being really great about the whole thing. So Glad anyway, guys, thanks for watching. This has been Doc Redstone. Like always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, everybody. Peace out. Mm -hmm.